Okay, guys, here we will discuss how to replace faulty supervisor engine or soup on Cisco Catalyst 4500-6500 or Cisco Nexus 7K model. Let's get started. So, do the pre checks. So, log into the switch, do SSH, or you can take the console and run the below commands. Terminal length 0, show run, show VLAN, show clock, show IP interface brief pipe, exclude unassigned, show interface status. Show LLDP or show CDP neighbors. Show LLDP or show CDP neighbors little. LLDP use if you have multi vendor switches or devices. CDP if you have only Cisco devices in the environment. Show module. Show redundancy. Then DIR boot flash. So, or might be boot disk. So, use the DIR command to check if your switch having boot disk or boot flash. Then, show boot, show login, and save the output into a text file, give a name before underscore activity dot txt. Then, start the implementation. Maintenance implementation. Remove the faulty soup, which is in supervisor five, which is in module five, in slot five from the device. So in my case, my soup is bad. That is soup five. If your case it is six, then you remove the six. So it depends on your soup which is faulty. Then insert the new RMS soup into the slot by of the device. Then what you will do? You will do RMA if your soup gone faulty or bad. Do a RMA with Cisco. Cisco will send the new device, new soup in this case. Then insert that new soup into that faulty slot. In this case, slot five. Then check if the image of slot file means the new RMS soup is the same version which is having in the soup 6. Okay. If it is same, then check the sync data show model. If it is same, then your work is done here. Show model, you will see. If not, then copy the iOS image and firmware from soup to soup, means from active soup, means your working soup to the new soup. Command copy boot flash, then slave boot flash, then give the iOS file. Then enter. After completing, copy the firmware. Command is copy boot flash, slave boot flash. Then give the firmware version, enter, and complete the copy. So I use image and firmware copy using USB drive. So Insert the USB drive into the active soup. Then give the command TIR to check the USB model, USB 0, 1, or any other. Then copy boot flash USB 0. Then give the image file. Enter. After completing, copy the firmware also. Copy boot flash USB 0. Then firmware version. After completing the copy, 
remove the USB from the active soup and insert the USB into the standby or new RNA soup. Then copy the IVS and the firmware. Command is copy USB 0 slab slave boot flash, then hit the file name. After completing, copy the firmware, copy USB 0, then slave boot flash, then hit the firmware, then enter. After completing, check the iOS image is in the standby soup. Command is dir slave boot flush then if it is paired then do the boot sequence this is verified by cisco tag uh, config t go to configuration mode that is config t enter then you will come here then boot system this is the boot sequence command boot system slave boot to flash then give the firmware enter then boot system slave boot flash then iOS version enter, then exit, then write the configuration. Next, next we have to reload the new soup which is received from Cisco by RM. Command is redundancy reload period. If the reload doesn't happen, then physically reset the new RNA soup means take out and put back into the slot the next wait for some times to come up the soup if doesn't come up for anything happen or if you do see any abnormal messages in the console then Again, open a case with Cisco for another new RM or new soup. If it's come up and sync, uh, then check the sync status, show redundancy, show model. After that, do the post checks already done before the activity. Use all the command and save the output after activity.txt, then compare both the files. If you have anything mismatch or corrupted something again for your security work or safety. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.